Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. For this project, you'll need a planter of your choice. You'll also need some gloves, seeds, pruning shears, and some sort of stakes. I've added some dirt to each of the gardening pails. This will help the skewer stick inside and be ready for planting. Now, since I have three planters, I'm gonna go ahead and use three skewers as well as three sets of seeds. So I'm gonna place the seed packet back side up and I'm gonna place the skewer onto the seed packet and I'm just gonna use some tape to hold the seed packet to the skewer. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other ones as well. And then I'll be ready to move to the next step. Each of these seed packets are now taped and we're ready to move to the next step. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to stick the skewers with each seed packet into one of the flower pots here, in the planters. Now, you could give more seed packets if you want, but ultimately what I'm going for here is one seed pack per pot. This will become an herb garden, and this is great for inside or outside, no matter where you live. Next, I'm gonna open all three of these, remove all the tags and all the extras so that we can put them onto our planter to embellish. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add these little chalkboard signs to each planter. And what they'll be able to do is write the name on each one of these little chalkboards of what seeds they are growing. So next, let's add the gloves. And you can have a lot of fun with these gloves. So you can place them around the center here and create a look like they're holding on to this center flower pot. You can also kind of work with them through the handles if you want so that they're hanging on to the handles or you can reach them up through the handles so that they can look like they're grabbing hold through this like so, and you can do that to both sides if you want. So it's kind of fun to play around with the gloves and decide which way you kind of would want them to be, you know, implemented in this gift idea. Next, we're just gonna add our pruners in. So I'm just gonna stick those down in here into the dirt, kind of plant them in. And then it's fun because often if you're doing an herb garden, that means somebody likes to cook as well. So maybe some scissors to, you know, both of these can be used for trimming or for preserving them. You can also, you know, add a pizza cutter and a pizza cutter can be great for, I guess I'll put it this way. <laughs> um, a pizza cutter can be great um, cause maybe it's a pizza garden. And then of course there's always things like maybe a rubber scraper that you can add in as well. So you can just kind of add odds and ends to it that apply to an herb garden for this kind of bouquet or gift. And one last thing you'll want to add is that piece of chalk so they can write on the chalkboard markers. So here's a quick look at this bouquet planter alternative. I hope this inspires you to make a planter gift of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my blog at chasscrazycreations.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.